Forest Music Band and Dung Beetle. Daisy, I can't walk anymore. All right, Ben. From wasp to doodle bug in this morning. Oh, my legs are trembling. Oh. I can't let my guard down at all. By the way, Cindy, is doctor's cat really this way? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, Ben, look at that. Why, is something coming up again? No, that tree. Isn't it the tree next to doctor's camp? Really? It looks like it. Hurry up. Let's go, Cindy. What? There are four trees. Oh, uh, what's the sound? I feel like my eardrum is going to burst. Ah, it's a cicada. Cicada? Chirp, chirp. Forest music band, I'm Chiquita. Music band? It's just noisy. Hey, this is all for mating. Mating? Yeah. Males like me make different sounds depending on the light intensity. We call females with loud and high-pitched sound. After mating, she lays an egg on the ground and a caterpillar hatches from the egg. The caterpillar grows by drinking sap from the roots of broadleaf trees like willow and poplar. Anyway, once we hatch from eggs, we have to change our skin several times for five to ten years. That way we can become a grown-up cicada. Five to ten years? That's a very long life. A caterpillar lives long, but adult cicada's life is so short. It's so sad we can only live for around 10 days. And this is if we are lucky enough to stay away from spiders, mantises, or wasps. Wow, then you were waiting for 10 years just to chirp during a short summer? Of course, that's Chiquita's destiny. Anyway, let me introduce my band members to you. Jewel, 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 jewel. Last summer cicada! In rainy days or early morning, robust cicada chirps, chirps, chirps! With a sharp mouth like a needle, Korean grass cicada cries chit, 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 chit. Lastly, 40 to 48 millimeters long, the biggest of all cicadas, crying beautifully. Char! Me! Horse cicada! <laughs> Okay, enough! Oh, there's a female cicada! I should go! Hi, cicada! Aw, oh, he's so noisy! Let's help make cicadas find female cicadas! How? Oh. Hey! Female cicadas have sharp ovipositor on their belly, so remember this and find them! stepped on Cindy and Ben. Oh, doctor, it's him. Hey, come here. Let's go.
Haven't you seen eating cow dung? What? Me? I'm horn dung beetle. I like fresh, steaming cow dung. Ugh! You were pooping while you were eating cow dung? Of course. <laughs> Ew, gross! And we are rolling cow dung to make a little round donut. Of course, we are not just making donuts out of cow dung. With humans or horses' soft dung, we can make a round donut right away. We roll it and make pretty circular munchkin. It's very big. I mean, 50 times bigger than me. Wow. Isn't it cool? My munchkin making skill? Actually, it's usually females who make a dung donut. But look at my horns. When there's an enemy, we crush it with these horns. Females don't have a horn. Males make a hole when they spot a place to put cow dung and put donuts in it. By the way, why do you guys, dung beetles, make donuts so hard? Ah, it's because females lay eggs in those munchkins. Mommy dung beetles rub those munchkins with their dung if those munchkins get dry. With their love, caterpillars are born and they eat yummy cow dung snacks. Ah. In the past, dung beetles were everywhere. But these days, they became rare and a protected species. Is it? Then, I'm going to roll cow dung. Bye! Okay, we'll help you. Uh, why? He said they are protected species. If we help them make cow dung donuts, caterpillars may grow well. Okay, Cindy. Good job! Yay, it's all done! Ah, uh, ah, uh, mic test. test. It's the doctor! Cindy! Ben! Can you see this balloon? Look at this balloon and find a direction. Doctor!